There is a lot to this game and you can tell the devs cared about every step of it. Alright, so some of you may be wondering what you're seeing right now and why you're not seeing, like, you know, what I promised originally a long time ago when I said that I would be making a ton of Kurtzbell content. Well, I think now is a great time to address that. You know, late as hell, two or three months after they fucked up royally. But, um, yeah. This is gonna be more of a stream of consciousness than an actual scripted out video like the Kurzbell, um beta reaction was, actually. Kurzbell beta reaction was not very scripted at all, if you couldn't tell. So we're gonna kinda just give our genuine reaction to the absolute atrocity that they have created here. So, where do I start with this? The first big mistake that they did is even considering releasing the January 15th update. The um, January 15th update, for those of you who don't play or never followed it, took Kurtzpel and basically revamped it into a sort of Kurtzpel 2.0. It's not really literally named that, but it had a similar effect. The, um, the big thing that happened there was... They did a massive rework to stats, equipment, and ranking. Now, normally I don't really have a problem with anybody reworking ranking, especially to make the ranking system more forgiving. But in this case, I had a major problem with it. See, what Kurtzba decided to do is make it so you can't derank beneath a certain letter grade, which was near the top. The bad news of that is... Well, if you can't derank, then what's the point? That's, uh... You're gonna- they also are gonna be giving out rewards for this. Oh my god, fucking shut up. They're giving out rewards for ranked, and yet... You can't derank. Plus, they're giving away rewards based off of your highest rank achieved in the season, not your rank at the end of the season, so what's the fucking point? Just get G once and be done with it. I say never really getting past, like, C or B rank. But that leads me into my second problem. So they reworked the way you queue for ranked, too. If you want to queue for PvP matches now, you can't queue for a casual match, technically. I mean, you kind of can if you're above A rank. You can queue for the same queue that the E through anything below A3 rank it gets, which is 3v3s and 5v5s only. There is not a 2v2 mode in ranked before A3. Now, I never wanted 3v3 or 5v5 in Kurtzpel. I never asked for it. I never played it before this update. I was forced to play it afterwards. I hated every second of it, and that's the main reason that I've given up on the game entirely. Because they decided they were going to take this and force it in your face. There is no 2v2. You can't play the original gameplay until you reach A rank, which is great and all. But that leads me into my next problem. Stats and equipment. Alright, so. In the January 15th update, they removed supply boxes that were paid. For the most part. I think they still have one. Woohoo! Good on them. Wonderful. High five. Slow clap. But they decided to implement a sort of League of Legends style skin system, essentially, where you buy outfits for it obscene amounts of money, except that obscene amounts of money is put in via Kurtzpel points, KP. Wonderful. So, um, yeah, you're basically just buying fucking skins with points to mask the fact that you just spent $30 on a fucking skin. Good on you. I wouldn't have a problem with this, except, well, 
they also released a CP shop. I don't remember what CP fucking stands for in Kurtzville, but your basically currency that you get any time that you play the game. The results of that were wooden weapons, wooden reskins of the rookie weapons, I mean, or official, I can't recall which right now, I haven't played in like two months because I fucking just hate what they've done to the game, but wooden weapons, basic, like, I don't even think they had the basic t-shirt in there, but yeah, wooden weapons and the shit that you could buy or originally get from the Enter Affinity, if I remember correctly. Isn't that wonderful? The shit you could get for free by just running an affinity line. Oh, by the way, affinity's been taken out entirely. No more lore for you. You wanted to talk to the NPCs? Sucks to fucking suck. So, I've got a problem with that. Now, let's look at what they did the stats and equipment. <clears throat> now, the big issue that I have with stats. They reverted everybody's base stats to 55555, five, 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 if I remember correctly. I think it's five base stats. I don't even fucking remember anymore. On top of that, they made it so you now get more stats from your weapons and armor or clothing, I guess. It's not really armor for the most part. On my character, it was armor because I had a sort of night aesthetic going on, but moving on from that, you can get stats on your weapons and clothing, which is great and all. Cool. You've always been able to get stats on your clothing. Weapons now have actual stats as well. Bad news. To change the armor, clothing, my bad, and weapon stats, you now need to use magic crystals or magic stones. So what are magic stones or magic crystals? Are they just some drop currency that basically lets you change your stats at, wit at a whim? Fuck no. No, no. Magic crystals are for sale in the KP shop. I don't remember the price because I didn't ever look because I wasn't going to wail out on this shit. Notice how I said whale there. When you plug in a magic stone or a magic crystal to change the stats on your gear, it randomizes a single stat on that gear. With the magic crystal, it's guaranteed to be like a purple rarity or above, but otherwise it can be white, green, blue, purple, and orange. Great and all. Here's the thing. It's random. And um, you can pay to get less random. Because um, a good example is rolling magic crit rate on my greatsword. I was real fucking happy with that. You can bet your ass I was thrilled to have that. <sighs> so they seem to have this genius idea of creating a new stat slot machine that you can pay to sort of skirt around a little bit. Because, really, the best stat overall is max health. You get about a thousand max health per piece with an orange stat. I would know because I had some max health items that were grandfathered in. <sighs> just pisses me off to no end that they made it so you can just pay for better stats on your gear literal pay to win see if i was any good at editing this would be the part where i would roll that nice little clip about um gm pie saying kurt's pill will never have pay to win i'm not good at editing so i'm not gonna roll it but let's just acknowledge the fact that they said repeatedly there would be no pay to win and then they put it in they fucked everybody over they played us like a goddamn fiddle well I decided I'm fucking done being played. So here I am sitting on World of Warcraft now. Isn't everybody thrilled to see that? Everybody who watches these videos. I don't really think anybody watches these videos anymore, so it is what it is. Anyway, 
Here I am sitting on World of Warcraft now because Kurt's Pell has just driven me to the point that I don't even want to look at it anymore. I couldn't even be bothered to fucking reinstall it to play it for this video. Because it's just in that shitty of a state. And they're not fixing it. January 15th, 2020, Kurt's Pell died. As far as I'm concerned, that's the truth. People may still be pumping their fucking money into it like some sick gilded life support but i won't be one of those people i've stepped away from the game it had so much potential and now i have to eat my fucking words i have to eat my words for what i said in cbt or what i said about the cbt of kurt's bell it's now a joke of a game it's a fucking circus. I literally, one time, when I got dragged into 5v5, I was just so sick and tired of people's shit that I, uh, I just started playing circus music in the background of the matches because I was just, it was a fucking fiesta. It was a clown fiesta. It was a joke and it was pathetic. What they've done with the game is sad. In other words, I'm done with Kurt's Pell. I don't know what content I'm going to be making, but that game will not be it. So, for those of you who are really excited about seeing me play it, or really liked that first video that I made, I'm sorry. But, I'm not going to be touching it ever again. Unless they do some major changes, and they make it clear without the Steam update notes or whatever, because I'm not going to be watching that. So, until such time as they fix it, you're going to be seeing something else. What? I have no idea yet. Maybe some World of Warcraft? There are too many people who do that already, and I don't know enough about the game anymore. But, I've just got to come up with something. Because as it is, I would like to do more videos, but I need to find a good subject. Something to be mine. Kurt's Bell is not it. I thought it was. I guess this is what I get for thinking, right? <laughs> Anyways, with a bit of a heavy heart that I'm gonna say, thanks to anybody who watched this. Sorry if you really were excited for seeing more Kurt's Pell. And until next time, whatever that may be, hopefully not six months from now again, or longer. Take it easy.